And now back to the Trump presidency, where we are four day, in day four of President Trump's impeachment trial. Today, House managers spent the day making their claim that the president abused his power of office. Margaret Brennan, moderator of Face the Nation, is joining us. And Margaret, how is the impeachment trial playing out so far? Well, we are in the final hours of the prosecution making its case. They're about to wrap up the uh, three-day, 24-hour testimony that they provide, provided, all the House impeachment managers. And tomorrow begins the defense. Uh, we will have another 24 hours of testimony over three days. That's what the White House has allotted. We don't know that they'll take up all that time. But starting at 10 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow, we do expect them to start trying to refute the case that's been laid out by Democrats. Exactly whether they'll refute on the facts or continue to argue that this is all about politics, we'll have to wait and see. But we do know they'll have a few guest uh, legal stars joining them over the next few days. Margaret, we're about a week away from the Iowa caucuses. Is impeachment affecting the candidates? Well, it's certainly affecting the four who are stuck on Capitol Hill listening to the testimony and listening to the presentation rather than working uh, the, the campaign trail out in Iowa ahead of that impending Iowa caucus that first week of February. So uh, as Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont admitted, it's, it's a bit of a disadvantage to have to do the day job when you're um, trying to be out there auditioning for the next one. So it, it takes them off the trail at a key moment, but it's a long race, as we know. It's a long way until 20. 20. Of course, the reason to focus on Iowa is because it is that first caucus state and you can get some real momentum and press uh, name recognition on the back of it. Uh, we'll have to see where we are at that point. The trial could be done by uh, that first week of February. Okay, Margaret Brennan joining us from Washington. Thank you very much, Margaret. And join Margaret for Face the Nation Sunday morning at 1030 right here on CBS4.